So this is the type of Bloody Mary that you can get right at Mardi Gras. Look at that thing, man. That thing is serious. Okay, so wow. this one is $18, right? Yeah, 24 they... ounces. It doesn't come with the Mardi Gras pass. I mean, it's worth it. I gotta try it. <laughs> How is it? Oh, it's so good. And they asked if I wanted spicy, and I love spicy. Ah. Uh, that thing looks like a tank. You know what? It's better than the one at um Aaron Rose. Oh really? I feel guilty saying that, but yeah, it is. First stand that we're hitting up today, guys. New Orleans stand has jambalaya and a Fair. Alright, so I decided to go ahead and get the jambalaya. This thing looks amazing. I can't wait to indulge. And of course I had to get the uh, the purple haze. New Orleans beer, delicious. I'm very excited for this. Let's go right for the shrimp. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> a little disappointed. Still has like that Creole taste. It's a little cold. You know, I'd expect something like this to be like very hot. And for it to be cold is a little bit of a letdown, but not bad for what it is. I don't know if I would get that again. However, the drink definitely helps wash it down. I definitely like the beer more than the first plate that we tried so far. And here's the real, here's the real deal. You want good jambalaya, you want Etouffee. What's the other one? Gumbo. Gumbo, and I should know that because the name of the place is the Gumbo Shop. In New Orleans, head to the Gumbo Shop if you're there. If you want some real jambalaya, some real good food, that's where you gotta go. Hashtag doing a Donna Dell right now. Hashtag, sweating his little hashtag off. That's what he's doing. Yeah, he's definitely sweating his hashtag <laughs> off right now. So our second stop, what we're gonna do is Columbia. Uh, I'm gonna pass on getting food. You're just gonna get a drink, right? I'm continuing my international flavors of Carnival bar crawl. Um, we have now noticed that the cups are like super tiny, so we'll see. Like what Steph said, the. Uh, the drinks are a little small. It's more like a taste than like an actual drink. We were debating on whether we should just buy the drinks instead of using it because some of the food dishes are $13. So essentially, if you use it on a food dish versus a $5 drink, you get more of your money's worth. But Yeah, like food items that are like, you know, $10, $12, $13, if the drink's $5. I'd rather use my pass to pay for the food and then just pay the $5 for the drink. All right, guys, so we just got the Coco Loco. From what country is this? Colombia? Colombia. This is from Colombia. Yep. Now, like what Steph was saying, look at the size of this. This is like two sips. I mean, for $5, okay, yeah, it's like, it's not bad, I guess, but, you know, you would think you'd get like a little more. Like, look at this. It's like almost the size of her head. <laughs> they might think that's big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. So Wait, it's um, rum, tequila, and lemonade. Ooh. That's what it said. It's called the what? What is it called? Coco Loco. Coco and especially Loco. on a day like this, it's going to be uh, really refreshing because it is hot for a February day. Not bad. Ooh. It's really good. It's more of like a lemony flavor I than like it is like a coconut. Well, it's lemony. It's not bad. It's definitely coconut rum. It's not a regular rum. So overall, for second drink, not bad. All right, we're at another stand in Belgium. 
Let's see what they got to offer. This is from Belgium. This is the third, right? Bark roll sock? Yeah, bark. Well, we've had a couple of drinks in between. We've been hitting up Diagon Alley and I've been getting some of the fire whiskey and Strongbow and Mike has been getting the Wizard's Brew. But as for, for um, the actual Mardi Gras, this is the third one. This is from Belgium and it's the St. Bernardus. So, let's see. And it's $9. So it's worth it if you use your Mardi Gras um, card. Oh my God, their drinks are better than their food so far. It's so good. This beer's really good. You want to try it? St. Bernardus. <laughs> Not bad. It's good, right? It's, it's actually really <laughs> it is good. It's really good beer. It looks like a dark beer, it doesn't, but it doesn't taste like a dark beer, yeah. which is good. Like sometimes Guinness is like too but, strong. This doesn't even taste like that. It definitely has like a really sweet smell to it. So I'm like... It does have like a sweet taste though too. Yeah. It's like, I can't explain how it tastes. It's just good, sweet, and refreshing. And to be honest, like I've, I have never tasted a dark beer that is as sweet as this is. It doesn't taste how this looks. It's really good. I can totally get a couple more of these. So I got the uh, Lidman Strawberry Brew. Let's see how it tastes. You could definitely taste the strawberry, to be honest, out of the two. I'm going to go with the St. Bernardus. This one's too... It has like a tart. Almost kind of like a wine that's like, like fizzy. That's how it kind of tastes. Okay, so I'm gonna try the strawberry one that Mike got. I feel like Patrick's staring at me right now. <laughs> Patrick! <laughs> See, to me, this doesn't taste like a beer. Like I said, it's more of like a like a wine. Wow, is that what you said? It tastes like a wine. It's yeah, like a it's like a. It, it has like a tart taste of wine. It's very sweet, but it has like that, uh, the carbonation, a part of it. So like I wouldn't really, I really wouldn't consider it a like a beer either. I don't even know if I like taste strawberry. Do you taste oh, it? I do it's taste. Like a, I do taste the strawberry. I didn't know if it would. Well, yeah, I guess it could be. I'm tasting it as kind of like any berry. Yeah, I can't really place it. It just doesn't taste. It's good. It just doesn't taste like. Okay, so we're on the fourth stop of the bar crawl. Um, this is a rosé from Spain. Only one on the board says rosé. So this is what I was given. Six bucks, seven bucks. We'll see how it tastes because I haven't tried it yet. All right. I really like wine. Like, I drink wine a lot. This tastes like a house wine. It's it's just, no, it's just not worth this price. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Keep that in mind that if you're somebody who's like kind of frugal and they wanna save money and they try to get their bang for their buck, definitely don't go and get a glass of wine for $7. That is tiny. So we're hitting our fifth stand right now. You said you're gonna get the Goomba smash? Goombe. <laughs> <laughs> Goombe. Uh, you would say Goomba. Uh, I think that's what I'm gonna get too. This is the Bombay. No. <laughs> hey, can we just point out the fact that you went up to her and called it a Goomba, which is not what it was? And then what did you just call it? What's it called? <laughs> Not anything you've said. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Goombay smash. Goombay smash. <laughs> Solid. It tastes like pineapple and coconut. It literally tastes like a screwdriver to me. So you don't taste the pineapple? pineapple. You're out of your mind. You taste pineapple. Now I taste pineapple. <laughs> the first sip, it literally tasted like it was orange juice. I like it, to be honest. <laughs> we are at our sixth bar crawl stop and 
We're in City Walk because Universal Studios closed. Otherwise, we would be continuing this bar crawl all through Morning Grandma. So we only have two days here for his birthday, which is tomorrow, his 29th birthday. So all depending on what we do tomorrow, we can may continue the crawl, show other drinks, and then we're probably going to show food. Um, but for now, we went and got our drinks at Fat Tuesdays. Um, I got the margarita, which I read online that today's margarita day. I don't know if that's true or not, but I like margarita, so I figured I'd just go with it. I got the eye candy, and if you've been to the Jersey Shore and ever had the Polish water ice that you get on the boardwalk, it tastes exactly like this. The only difference is this one's going to knock you on your while the other one's not. <laughs> So overall, good day though. Good day. So, let's see what tomorrow has in store for us. The saga continues.